Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will discuss one important genus of pteridophytes, that is Selaginella. It is commonly known as spike moss. It comes under the group of ferns which are commonly known as fern allies. Why these are known as fern allies? Because they are microphilous, means in ke jo leaves hote hai, they are smaller in size. Or sabhi ke sabhi pteridophytes jin ke leaves small size ke hote hai, they are uh, they comes under the group fern allies or the true ferns hote hain, they have large pinnately compound leaves jinne ka hata hai fronds so today we will focus on this genus Selaginella so let's start our today's learning objectives are aaj hum discuss karenge is ki occurrence ke baare mein where it is found then we will discuss about its external features then we will discuss about internal structures in case of Selaginella like we have stem, then rhizophore, leaves and root. So in the presentation we will discuss this. Before discussing this we will start with this classification. So it belongs to division Lycophyta. Then the class is Ligulopsida. Ligulopsida is the class is because in the leaf base mein ek tongue shaped structure present hota hai, which is uh, known as ligule so that's why it is uh, put it in the class ligulopsida then order is selaginellales family is selaginellaceae genus is selaginella and uh, there are many species like bryopteris lepidophila pilifera rupestris origena etc so these are some species of selaginella occurrence where it is found so it is distributed all over the world from tropical regions to arctic region and uh, this genus contains variety of species that is approximately 750 species so it is comprising of about 750 species which are distributed all over the world mostly ye prefer karta hai to grow in damp shady places Jo damp shady places are wahan pe commonly grow karta hai. most abundantly it is found growing in tropical rainforest jahan pe bahut zyada humidity present hoti hai and temperature is also sufficient so this is Saraginella uh, and this is commonly known as spike moss and it comes under fern allies because isme jo leaves hote hain they are smaller in size so this is microphilous fern aur jo true ferns hote hain they have pinnately compound leaves which are commonly known as fronds then there are some exceptions which Saraginella ki species xerophilic hoti hain they prefer to grow on dry sandy soil or rock surfaces for example we have Saraginella lepidophila Saraginella rupestris so a few xerophilic species of Saraginella are that we have already discussed Saraginella lepidophila Saraginella pilifera and the Saraginella rupestris they show cestipose habit so what is the cestipose habit under dry conditions, the plant body is curled in the form of a ball-like structure and as it moisture, milta hai, it becomes again fresh uh, and are sold as curiosities under the name of resurrection plants so these ornamental purposes ke liye bhi use hai. Uh, and what are resurrection plants? These plants which uh, dry hote hai on dry weathers but when they are provided with moisture they regain their viability and become fresh plants so as plants go resurrection plants we got in this photograph we can see here so this is cestipose habit uh to dry condition may your plant body have a curl out to form this ball like structure just say isko moisture milta hai to regain its viability so what is this cestipose habit plant curls up in the form of ball in dry season and become fresh again when moisture is available and then we have a few species of saraginella which are epiphytic that is they grow on the tree surfaces or plant body surfaces for example we have Serenera origana it is found growing on the tree trunks so this is the photograph that shows the Serenera origana which grows on the tree trunks if we talk about its external body features so the main plant body in case of Serenera is sporophyte it means it is deployed in nature and it shows well developed root stem and leaves so we can say its plant body is differentiated into well developed root stem and leaves most 
of the species are dorsiventral. It means they are differentiated into dorsal and ventral surfaces and they show prostate or creeping habit. Means they grow horizontally on the surface of soil. And they are also perennial herbs. Perennial herb means they can grow for more than two years. But some species of Salaginella may be erect. For example, we have Salaginella erythropus, Salaginella salaginoides. So this photograph shows Salaginella erythropus. Uh, erythro means reddish in color. So we can see its under surface, which is reddish in color. Then we have some species which are sub erect. For example, Salaginella trachyphyla. So this is the photograph which shows Salaginella trachyphyla. Some species are creeping, or uh, we, we can say prostrate. For example, Salaginella crossiana. So this photograph shows this Salaginella crossiana, which grows horizontally on the surface of soil. And some species of Salaginella are climbers. For example, Salaginella elegias. So in this photograph, we can see this Salaginella elegias. The person named as Hieronymus in 1902 he divided genus Salaginella into two subgenres, namely Homeophyllum. Homeo means same, phylum means leaves. It means they have similar leaves and also known as Isophilus. Uh, then, second is Heterophyllum. Hetero means different, phylum means leaves, having two different types of leaves on the basis of general structures of plants. So, this person divided Salaginella into two subgenres. So this table shows the difference between these two subgroups. Firstly, homeophyllum. Ye jo homeophyllum subgenera hai, isme plant body is erect, radial, and dichotomously branched stem present hota hai iski plant body mein. While in case of heterophyllum, uh, type of subgenera, plant body is dorsiventral, means dorsal or ventral surface mein differentiate hoti hai and is prostrate. It means creeping, it runs over the surface of soil. Then second difference is the foliage leaves are more or less uniform. It means isophyllous in case of homeophyllum. That's why they are known as homeophyllum. While foliage leaves in case of heterophyllum uh, subgenera are of two, type, two types and are commonly known as heterophyllous type of subgenres. Then the third difference is the arrangement of foliage leaves are spiral. Jo, uh, leaves ka arrangement hai in case of homeophyllum it is spiral while the foliage leaves are arranged in two four vertical rows two dorsal and two ventral uh, dorsal row major leaves hote hai, they are smaller in size and in ventral rows the leaves are larger in size then the fourth difference is the subgenus is replaced represented by about 50 species jo homeophyllum subgenus hai ye represent kiya jata hai 50 species se for example, we have some common species like Salaginella rupestris, Salaginella pygmia, Salaginella uh, uliginosa, and Salaginella salaginoides. In case of heterophyllum, majority of species are included in this subgenus, uh, namely Salaginella crossiana, Salaginella lepidophylla, Salaginella helvetica, and Salaginella martensi. So these are some common genus which comes under this group heterophyllum, subgenera heterophyllum. So this is these are the differences between these two groups next structure in case of external feature is stem so stem in case of homeophyllum type of genus uh, is uh, dichotomously branched so the stem is generally erect and dichotomously branched in case of subgenus homeophyllum while in case of uh, heterophyllum type of subgenera it is prostrate and dorsiventral it means it is creeping ye surface ke creep karta hai with short lateral branches so this is the difference that we have already discussed in previous slide next comes leaves leaves in case of salaginella are microphyllous it means they are smaller in size they are sessile without any petiole and having distinct midrib that we can see in this photograph so this is the photograph which shows salaginella and the arrangement of leaves on the stem axis so leaves in case of Salaginella are microphyllous, sessile, that is without petiole and simple with distinct midrib, having prominent midrib which is single. Shape may be lanceolate to obovate. Obovate means egg-shaped leaves, jiska jo base hota hai that is narrower 
and tip is broader so the shape of leaves varies from species to species usually jo leaves hote hain serigenella species ke which grows in shady damp soil they are, they are thin green and soft while in case of xerophytic species these are thick and are covered with thick cuticle so the arrangement of leaves in case of homophyllum genus is spiral and leaves are almost similar in shape and size while in case of uh, heterophyllous genus subgenus the arrangement of leaves uh, is on the two uh, on the four, four vertical rows two are on the dorsals dorsal side which are smaller in size two row leaves ki hoti hain dorsal surface pe which are smaller in size and two are on vertical surface which are larger in size so uh, the leaves are anisophyllous in case of heterophyllous type of subgenus so this is the photograph which shows serigenella leaves under surface electron microscopy so in this photograph you can see these are larger in size these are smaller in these leaves are smaller in size uh four vertical rows mein leaves ki arrangement hoti hain जो डॉर्सल सरफेस है उसमें स्मॉलर साइज के लीव्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं और जो वेंट्रल साइड के लीव्स हैं दे आर लार्जर इन साइज सो ऑल द स्पीशीज आर लिगुलेट इट मींस दे बियर लिगुल एट द बेस ऑफ लीव व्हिच इज अ थिन मेम्ब्रेनस ट्रंग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एक थिन मेम्ब्रेनस ट्रंग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट होता है सरजना के लीव के बेस में जिसको लिगुल कहा जाता है एट द बेस ऑफ अपर और एट एक्सल सरफेस ऑफ ईच लीव एंड स्पोरोफिल so this is the unique feature of this serigenella next comes roots jo primary roots hain uh, in case of serigenella they are ephemeral means short lived hote hain in case of young plant jo adult plant hai mature plant that bears adventitious roots which are dicotomously branched so primary roots of young plant primary root of young plants are ephemeral means they are short lived and they are shortly replaced by the adventitious roots and the roots of adult plant are adventitious and dicotomously branched and they are endogenous in origin it means they arise from the point of branching of the stem from a meristem or is tarah ke meristem ko kaha jata hai angle meristem for example in case of serigenella umbrosa or from the tip of rhizophore rhizophore ek स्ट्रक्चर है वो जो प्रेजेंट होता है सरजनेला में विच इज़ द यूनिक फीचर ऑफ सरजनेला अगेन सो उससे भी रूट सराइज होती हैं इन केस ऑफ सरजनेला क्रॉसियाना नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर इन केस ऑफ सरजनेला इज राइजो फोर इट इज ड्राइव फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड राइजा विच मीन्स रूट फोरा मीन्स बियर सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर विच बियर रूट सो इन दिस प्रोग्राफ यू कैन सी हेयर सो दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज नॉन एज राइजो फोर ये अराइज होता है द पॉइंट ऑफ डायकोटोमी जहाँ से ब्रांचिंग ओरियल स्टेम है वहाँ से फ्रॉम एंगल मैरिज स्टेम ये लीफलेस कलरलेस स्ट्रक्चर है इसके टिप्स में रूट्स प्रेजेंट हो सकती हैं सो इट राइज ऑफ फोर इज अ लॉन्ग लीफलेस कलरलेस अनब्रांच प्रॉप लाइक पिलर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर टूवर्ड्स द लोअर साइड एट द पॉइंट ऑफ डायकोटोमी इन द स्टेम जो पॉइंट ऑफ डायकोटोमी है मीन जहाँ से ब्रांचिंग हो रही है वहाँ से राइज होता है इन मैनी स्पीशीज ऑफ सरजनेला सो इन दिस राइज ऑफ फोर रूट कैप एंड रूट हेयर आर एबसेंट इसमें रूट कैप और रूट हेयर्स एबसेंट होते हैं सो इन दिस प्रोग्राफ वी कैन अगेन सी सो दिस दीज स्ट्रक्चर्स आर नॉन एज राइज ऑफ फोर सो दिस स्ट्रक्चर ग्रोज डाउनवर्ड वी कम ब्रांच्ड नीचे की तरफ ग्रो करते हैं बाद में ब्रांचिंग होती है इसमें ओनली वन राइज ऑफ फोर अराइज फ्रॉम एंगल मैरिज स्टेम सिर्फ एक ही राइज ऑफ फोर अराइज होता है ब्रांचिंग uh, डायकोटोमी से बट देर आर सम एक्सेप्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू राइज ऑफ फोर्स which arise from the angle meristem in case of serigenella martensi then rhizophore in some species rhizophore is completely absent for example we have serigenella serigenoides so these are some unique features in case of serigenella next comes morphological nature of rhizophore so the morphological nature of rhizophore is still controversial because of its unusual position and structure so this is rhizophore Uh, इसका जो मॉर्फोलॉजिकल नेचर है वो कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल है बिकॉज इसकी अनयूजल पोजिशन है और स्ट्रक्चर है इट इज़ नॉट सिमिलर टू दैर ऑफ रूट और स्टेम बट सम साइंटिस्ट हैड व्यू दैट इट्स इट इज़ सिमिलर टू रूट एंड सम हैड व्यू दैट इट इज़ सिमिलर टू शूट और स्टेम और कुछ एक साइंटिस्ट मानते हैं कि इट इज़ 
एन ऑर्गन स्यूई जेनरिस जिसका मतलब है ना ही ये रूट है और ना ही ये शूट है सो इट हैज़ बिन इंटरप्रिटेड बाई वेरियस प्लांट साइंटिस्ट एज रूट स्टेम और एन ऑर्गन स्यूई जेनरिस जिसका मतलब होता है एन ऑर्गन ना इधर स्टेम और आर रूट सो देर आर समाइंटिस्ट हु हैड व्यू दैट इट इज सिमिलर टू रूट सो देर आर साइंटिस्ट लाइक ट्रूब वेन टाइगम एंड हार्वे गिप्सन दे रिगार्डेड इट एज रूट सो वट आर द वेरियस फैक्टर्स जो इसको सपोर्ट करते हैं इस व्यू को फर्स्टली जो राइज ऑफ फोर है दे आर पॉजिटिवली जियोट्रॉफिक इन नेचर मीन्स रूट्स की तरह सॉइल के सर्फेस के अंदर की तरफ रो करता है ये इट लैक लीव्स लीव्स इसमें एबसेंट होते हैं एंड इट रिजेंबल रूट ट्रू रूट इन इट्स एनाटमी एनाटमिकली इट इज सिमिलर टू रूट्स इसमें जो जाइलम है दैट इज मोनार्क लाइक दैट ऑफ रूट एंड देर इज प्रजेंस ऑफ रूट कैप इन सम स्पीशीज कुछ एक स्पीशीज में रूट कैप प्रेजेंट होती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सरजनेला डेंसा सरजनेला क्रॉसियाना सरजनेला मार्टेंसाए सरजनेला वेलेसी और ये नोट किया था साइंटिस्ट ने लाइक वेबस्टर एंड स्टीव्स इन 1967 सो दे रिपोर्टेड इन दीज स्पीशीज की इनके राइज ऑफ फोर में रूट कैप प्रेजेंट होते हैं एंड नेक्स्ट फैक्टर विच सपोर्ट दिस व्यू इज द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन राइज ऑफ फोर इज एक्रोपिटल एक्रोपिटल विच इज सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ रूट सो रूट्स में जैसे एक्रोपिटल वे में ऑक्सीजन का ट्रांसफर होता है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन होता है सिमिलरली राइज ऑफ फोर में भी वैसा ही ऑक्सीजन का ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है सो दिस वी वॉज सपोर्टेड बाय वोचॉक वोचॉक एंड सेंसेक्स इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर नेक्स्ट साइंटिस्ट जो कंसिडर करते हैं राइज ऑफ फोर को स्टेम की तरह बिकॉज इट शोज सम सिमिलरिटीज विद स्टेम सो दिस आर द राइज ऑफ फोर्स सो देर आर साइंटिस्ट लाइक पेफर देन ब्रचमैन वॉर्डल एंड ट्रॉल दे आर रिगार्ड दैम एज मॉडिफाइड स्टेम ड्यू टू सम रीजन लाइक इट इज एक्सोजीनस इन ऑरिजन लाइक स्टेम जो ऑरिजन है एक्सोजीनस है इसका एंड देर इज एबसेंस ऑफ रूट कैप्स इन एंड रूट हेयर इन केस ऑफ दिस राइज ऑफ फोर विद सम एक्सेप्शन जो हमने प्रीवियस स्लाइड में पढ़ा था दैन दे ऑरिजिनेट ड्यू टू द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ मेरिस्टेम विच इज प्रजेंट बिटवीन द टू ब्रांचेज जिसको कहा जाता है एंगल मेरिस्टेम सो दिस सेम स्टेम हैज बिन टर्म्ड एज एंगल मेरिस्टेम जो दो ब्रांचेज कहाँ जहाँ पे डायकोटमी का पॉइंट है वहाँ से अराइज होते हैं ये और यहाँ पे जो मेरिस्टेम प्रेजेंट होता है उसको कहा जाता है एंगल मेरिस्टेम विच इज बेसिकली एन एम्ब्रियनिक शूट एंड दिस व्यू वाज सपोर्टेड बाय क्यूरिक इन 1959 देन दे दे प्रोड्यूस रूट्स एंडोजिनसली फ्रॉम इट्स स्टिप सो दिस व्यू ऑल्सो सपोर्ट दैट दे आर सिमिलर टू दिस राइज ऑफ फोर इज सिमिलर टू स्टेम दैन अंडर एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंडीशन जो राइजो फोर है दैट कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड इन टू लिफी शूट एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंडीशन अगर हम इसको प्रोवाइड करें सो ये जो राइजो फोर है ये प्रोड्यूस कर सकता है लिफी शूट विच इज रिपोर्टेड बाई फॉस्टर एंड क्ले फोर्ड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन नेक्स्ट समट इट इज रिगार्डेड एज ऑर्गन सीवी जेनरिस विच मीन्स ये जो ऑर्गन है ना ही ये रूट है और ना ही ये शूट है so this organ is considered as organ sui generis so bower and gobel suggested that rhizophore is an organ sui generis neither a root nor a stem but as an intermediate as an intermediate independent organ possessing some characters of root and stem so they consider it as an independent organ jo ki na hi root hai aur na hi shoot hai it is independent of root and shoot but it shows some similarities with these two structures recent biochemical studies of proteins from stem leaves root and rhizophore reveal that the polypeptides of rhizophore are more closely resemble to those of stem rather than the subterranean roots so jo recent biochemical analysis kiya gaya hai proteins ka usme ye pata chala hai ki jo ye rhizophore hai ye similarities show karta hai stem ke sath zyada as compared to underground jo roots hain un unke comparison mein so this uh, is the view regarding the rhizophore that is this is the organ sui generis so this was all about the external features of salicinella next comes internal structures internal structures mein sabse pehle hum discuss discuss karenge stem ka internal structure so it shows almost similar pattern in all the species 
but your stellar system here that is variable in the different species of Selaginella. So this is the section under microscope. It shows outermost epidermis, followed by broad layer of cortex. Then innermost layer of cortex is endodermis. Then comes uh, endodermis is modified into uh, trabeculae. Then comes pericycle, then central stellar system. So on the basis of this steel, if a single steel present, hai, it can be monostelic, diastelic, and polystelic. So this is the animated diagram of this TS of Selaginella stem. On the basis of stellar system, species can be monostelic, diastelic, or polystelic. And the anatomy of mature stem is very much distinct in case of Selaginella stem and is differentiated into outer epidermis, middle cortex, and centrally located steel. So firstly, epidermis. So this is the outermost single layer made up of thick-walled cuticularized cell. And it is devoid of stomata and hairs. It lacks stomata and hairs. Then next is cortex. So epidermis is followed by cortex. This may जो different species हैं, there are several layers of thick wall cells, जिसको कि hypodermis कहा था, which is made up of sclerenchyma, and which merge gradually with the thin walled chlorophyll cells of cortex. So कुछ एक species में, जो outermost layer हैं, they are thick walled sclerenchyma टस, जिसको कि hypodermis कहा था है, और ये merge करता है cortex के साथ inner to this, which are chlorenchyma टस cells. और जो पैरन दिस कॉर्टेक्स इज मेड अप ऑफ कंपैक्टली अरेंज्ड एंगुलर पैरन कैमेटा सेल्स एंड दिस सेल्स आर विदाउट इंटरसेलर स्पेसेस एंड द मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ कॉर्टेक्स इन केस ऑफ जीरो फेरिक स्पेसेस जो जीरो फेरिक कंडीशन स्पेसेस हैं जो ग्रो करती हैं ड्राई कंडीशंस में फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव सेरेजिनल लेपिडोफाइला एंड सेरेजिनल रिपेस्ट्रिस सो इसमें जो कॉर्टेक्स है इट इज मोस्टली मेड अप ऑफ thick walled sclerenchymata cells and provide mechanical support to the stem. Next comes endodermis. So innermost layer of cortex is endodermis that we can see in this photograph. So this these trabeculae are made by the endodermal cells. So it is single layer in the single layer in the beginning. Initially young stage may a single layer hoti hai. later on cells undergo radial elongation. बाद में ये सेल्स इलांगेट होते हैं टू फॉर्म लार्ज एयर स्पेसेस ड्यू टू सेपरेशन ऑफ सेल्स जिसकी वजह से लार्ज एयर स्पेस बनते हैं ड्यू टू सेपरेशन ऑफ सेल्स और ये जो ट्रेबिकुलर हैं दे आर यूनिसीरियट मीन सिंगल सेल थिक होते हैं मेड अप ऑफ थ्री टू फोर सेल्स एंड दिस एयर स्पेसेस आर ट्रेवर्स्ड बाय एंडोडर्मल सेल्स कॉल्ड ट्रेबिकुले सो दिस दिस सेल्स इलांगेटेड सेल्स आर नोन एज ट्रेबिकुले Initially, these are unicellular, later becomes multicellular and possesses Casparian strips on their radial walls. Initially, these are unicellular, hote hai, but with maturity, they become multicellular or in ki jo radial walls, hai, they bear Casparian strips. Then steel appears suspended in axial air column with the help of trabeculae. So it looks like that jo steel hai, ye hang kar hai center mein with the help of these trabeculae. In case of xerophytic species, for example, Serigenera lepidophila and Serigenera repressoris, trabeculae are absent. So, uh, trabeculae absent hote hain xerophytic species mein. Next comes steel. Steel is the central cylinder made up of vascular bundles. So, it varies from species to species. It shows variation in different species of Serigenera. So there is much variation in vascular cylinder among different species of Serigenella. The number of steel varies from species to species and sometimes even in the same species. So this number is varied from species to species and this varies from one species from in the different parts of the plant. So this is due to dissection in the main steel. When the main steel is dissection, hota hai, so as a result of that, it shows this variation. Steel is proto-steel, which is the simplest type of steel, which is which, which is made up of central xylem followed by a phloem. In most of the species, while siphono steel in Salaginella lavigata variety lily. So there is one species of Salaginella that is uh, lavigata, 
वैरायटी लाई ली विच इज साइफोनोस्टिलिक मीन्स जो स्टील है इट बियर्ड सेंट्रल पिथ स्टेम इज विद रेडियल सिमिट्री मे शो मोनोस्टिलिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऐसे स्टेम्स जिनमें रेडियल सिमिट्री है दे शो मोनोस्टिलिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन मीन्स सिंगल स्टील प्रेजेंट होगा वाइल डॉर्सी वेंट्रल स्पीशीज जो डॉर्सी वेंट्रल स्पीशीज हैं दे मे बी डायस्टिलिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ सेलेजनेला क्राउसियाना और दे मे बी पॉलिस्टिलिक मीन्स हैविंग मोर देन टू स्टील्स वो नंबर वेरी कर सकता है ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन स्टील्स इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सेम प्लांट so in this photograph we can see here so this is monostelic condition having single steel this is diastelic condition having two steels in the stem in case of sarinella browni jo creeping axis hai aur prostate axis hai that is diastelic while erect branches are monostelic jo erect branches hain that is monostelic aur jo creeping axis hai that is diastelic do steels present hain isme aur isme single steel present hota hai In case of Sarinella lyali, जो prostate branches हैं they are diastelic. So this prostate branch is diastelic, having two ascular bundles. Uh, then in case of uh, whereas जो erect branches हैं they are polystelic, means having more than two steels. So जो erect branches हैं उसमें दो से ज़्यादा स्टील्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं सो दिस इज द डाइवर्सिफिकेशन शोन बाय स्टील इन केस ऑफ सरजनला स्पीशीज नेक्स्ट इन केस ऑफ स्टेम जो स्टील है दैट इज सराउंडेड बाय पेरिसाइकल सो ईच स्टील इज सराउंडेड बाय सिंगल लेयर पेरिसाइकल और जो स्टील है इज सेट ऑफ फ्रॉम द कॉटेक्स बाय फ्यू रेडियली लॉन्गेटेड एंडोडर्मल सेल्स विच आर डेजिग्नेटेड एज ट्रेबिकल दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द स्टीलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो प्राइमरी जायलम है दैट इज एग्जाक इट मीन्स सेंटर में मेटाजाइलम प्रेजेंट होगा एंड प्रोटोजाइलम फेस इज टूवर्ड्स पेरीफ्री इन डेवलपमेंट एंड मेटाजाइलम कंजिस्ट ऑफ प्राइमरली ट्रैकिड्स मेटाजाइलम ट्रैकिड से बना होता है एंड दीज ट्रैकिड्स ऑफ मेटाजाइलम बियर स्क्लैरिफॉर्म थिकनिंग वायल इन केस ऑफ प्रोटोजाइलम द थिकनिंग्स आर एनुलर एंड स्पायरल जायलम लैक्स ट्रू वेसल्स True vessels absent होते हैं but vessel with transverse perforation are found in xylem of सेरेजनेला डेंसा सेरेजनेला रूपेस्ट्रिस सेरेजनेला और इगेना सो दीज आर सम एक्सेप्शंस जहाँ पे वेसल्स प्रेजेंट हैं विद ट्रांसवर्स परफोरेशन देन सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ इन केस ऑफ सेरेजनेला इज एबसेंट बट देर इज वन स्पेशियज दैट इज सेरेजनेला सेरेजनोइडिस विच शोज सेकेंडरी जायलम एलिमेंट्स इन द बेसल पोर्शन ऑफ स्टेम जिसमें सेकेंडरी जायलम एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं बेसल पोर्शन में and the phloem of sarajana consists of sieve cells only and the sieve and the phloem parenchyma so companion cells are absent again this line is repeated some species are with uh, xylem vessels uh, with transverse perforation and in case of phloem companion cells are absent in case of sarajana stem so this was all about the internal structure of stem in case of sarajana Next comes the internal structure of rhizophore. It is just similar to that of a root, but shows some mild variations. So it consists of outermost epidermis, which is made up of single layer cell, and it is heavily cuticularized. Cuticle ki covering is present hoti hai. Then it consists of broad zone of cortex, which is differentiated into outer sclerenchymatous hypodermis and inner parenchymatous inner cortex. Then innermost layer is endodermis, followed by pericycle. then comes the central steeler system so a ts of rhizophore shows features very much similar to the root however with some mild variations root ki tarah hai but some variations show karta hai the epidermis is single layered and is highly cuticularized jo cortex hai which is extensive and may be differentiated into an inner thin walled parenchymatous zone and outer thick walled sclerenchymatous zone which is also known as hypodermis then comes the innermost layer of cortex which is endodermis it is single layer lies inner to cortex aur isme jo trabeculae hain they are absent the steel is protostelic which is the most primitive type of steel and is surrounded by a layer of endodermis it shows variation in the form of its arrangement and uh, arrangement of protoxylum in different species of sarajanella in sarajanella martensi the xylem is monarch and exarch monarch means single ray 
of the xylem is present or exarch hota hai it means jo metaxylem hai that is present at the center and protoxylem is present towards the peripheral region in salicinella atroviridis the metaxylem is crescent shaped and protoxylem occurs in the form of a few groups on the concave adaxial side so ye exception hai in case of salicinella crossiana the steel is centroxylic means center mein xylem present hai here a single concentric steel with one protoxylem lying in the center so uh, a, a centroxylic condition means xylem lies in the center or is uh, surrounded by phloem from all the sides next comes the internal structure of root so it shows outermost epiblema uh, it is uh, parenchymatous or isme se kuch ek epidermal cells se root hairs bhi arise hote hain which is followed by hypodermis so ts of root shows outer epidermis also known as epiblema it is the outermost single layer of large thin walled cells and some elongates to form unicellular root here that we can see in this diagram then it is followed by cortex which is multi layered zone of thin walled cells or ye cells hain parenchymatous some of the cells are sclerenchymatous in the outer region cortex cells of salicinella salicinoides shows mycorrhizal association so this is a unique feature means it shows symbiosis with some of the fungi then innermost layer of cortex is endodermis which is single layer in some species it is not clear so ye jo endodermis hai ye is clear nahi hoti kuch ek species mein and pericycle is one to three layered and lies inner to endodermis made up of parenchymatous cells then comes steel steel is protosteel consists of small exarch monarch xylem xylem is surrounded by phloem which consists of tracheids xylem mein tracheids present hote hain vessels are absent or tracheids jo metaxylem ke hain they bear scleriform thickenings while in case of protoxylem they bear annular or spiral thickenings so this is all about the internal structure of root next comes the internal structure of leaf so a ts of leaf shows two epidermal layers then mesophyll tissue steel and stomata so these are the structure which are visible so this is the diagram this is the photograph which shows the diagram of this uh, internal structure of leaf so the cells of upper and lower epidermal layers may be similar in most of species for example salicinella rupestris dono mein hi upper or lower epidermis mein similar hote hain however they may be somewhat different in some species kuch ek species mein they wo variation show karte hain for example we have salicinella martensii where the upper epidermis consists of conical cells but the cells of lower epidermis are smaller isme jo lower epidermis ke cells hain smaller size ke hote hain and the mesophyll consists of loosely arranged spongy parenchyma with intercellular spaces so it consists of spongy parenchyma jisme ki intercellular spaces uh, ever present hote hain this is the mesophyll tissue and we can see the intercellular spaces in some species this mesophyll cells uh, cell I mean, these mesophyll cells are differentiated into spongy and palisade parenchyma so mesophyll tissue may be differentiated into distinct palisade and spongy parenchyma layers for example in case of salicinella lyalli and salicinella concina or the entire mesophyll may look like a reticulate lacunate parenchyma cells a mesophyll cell contains 1 to 8 cup shaped chloroplast ek jo mesophyll cell hai iske andar 1 se 8 tak cup shaped chloroplast present ho sakte hain with many pyrenoid like cells uh, pyrenoid ki tarah structure jo humne algae ke case mein padha hai which stores starch waise cells present hote hain so the stomata are present generally on the adaxial surface that is lower surface although certain species they are present on both the surfaces aur is tarah ke stomata जिसमें प्रेजेंट होते हैं दोनों ही सर्फेसिस में दीज आर नोन एज एम्फिस्टोमेटिक लीव्स अ सिंगल वेस्कुलर बंडल व्हिच इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ सेंट्रल जाइलम सराउंडेड बाय फ्लोएम इज प्रेजेंट इन द सेंटर सो दिस इज द वेस्कुलर बंडल जिसमें सेंटर में जाइलम प्रेजेंट है व्हिच इज सराउंडेड बाय फ्लोएम सो दिस टाइप ऑफ स्टील इज प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ द लीफ एंड द बंडल इज बाउंडेड बाय अ डिस्टिंक्ट बंडल शीट इसमें बाहर बंडल शीट प्रेजेंट होती है दिस इज बंडल शीट next structure is ligule it is a 
tongue shaped or fan shaped structure which is present at the base of leaf of Salaginella. So this is the diagram of leaf which shows leaf and this small tongue shaped structure which is known as ligule. It is made up of two parts. One is the glossopodium and this word is derived from Greek word glossa. Glossa means glossa means tongue, podium means fit and the second part is body of ligule. So it is a small tongue or fan shaped structure at the upper side of leaf axis. It is tongue shaped in case of Salaginella chrysocolis or fan shaped in case of Salaginella martensi. And it consists of two parts. One is glossopodium and other is body of ligule. Firstly glossopodium. This word is derived from Greek word glossa which means tongue and podium means foot. foot. So it is hemispherical foot like basal portion of ligule composed of highly vacuolated large thin walled dead cells so ye bana hota hai thin walled vacuolated cells se jo ki dead hote hain so uh, it it forms the base or foot of this ligule it is enclosed by cup shaped covering and this covering is known as glossopodium sheath so in this diagram we can see here so this outer covering is known as glossopodium sheath the ligule of Serginella crassiana has Casparian strips in the sheath cells. So this is again a unique feature. So uh, these cells in sheath case may Casparian thickenings present hoti hai in case of Serginella crassiana. Next comes the second part of ligule that is body of ligule. So this portion is the body of ligule. It lies above the glossopodium and is composed of large polygonal and uninucleated parenchymatous cells that are rich in protoplasm and the remaining cells are more or less cubical in shape. So, ye bana hota hai uh, large polygonal uninucleated cells se, which are parenchymatous or jo remaining cells and there are cubical in shape. Jo terminal end hai ligule ka it is thin and single layered called terminal lamella. So, this terminal portion is known as terminal lamella the ligule act as a water absorbing structure so it helps in the retention of moisture in leaves which keeps the young leaves leaf primordium and sporangium of sporophyll moist during their early developmental stages so this is the function otherwise its uh, unique functions are not known but it is thought to be a water storing or water absorbing structure which is present in case of Salaginella. So the ligule in some species during early development secrete mucilaginous substances which is composed of carbohydrates and proteins that keeps the apical meristem moist and prevent them from desiccation. So this is again the second function of this uh, ligule. So in some species it secretes some mucilaginous substances which are rich in carbohydrates and proteins or ye desiccation se bachate hain young parts core apical parts of this salaginella plant for example in case of salaginella uh, valesi and salaginella crausiana so uh, this was all about the internal structures in case of salaginella this is all about our today's discussion hope you will get some idea from this presentation about salaginella if you uh, have any questions any queries and any suggestions you can give it in comment section if you found it useful it useful then uh, you can share it with your friends thank you have a nice day